Hello friends, welcome back to NT 3D teacher tutorial. In the last tutorial, we have seen the basic physics system which we applied for our game. So in this video, we are going to apply a game gameplay. So let's begin. So I have a script called player controller control. Just open up the, open up the screen script and then drag and drop the script. Or the balloon game object so make sure that it won't have been applied for any other thing okay so let's begin so in order to get in order to get the balloon control we need to uh, get the rigid body of your balloon so we are going to get this component in script so just assign public rigid body 2d and then uh, variable name may be anything which you like to give or be equal to get component of rigid body 2d since it's a 2d we are going to get the, this component so it's rigid body 2d i get this 2d from from this variable so now we are going to find the touch event of your balloon in order to do that we need to have void, mo void on mouse down just check in print statement let's it work or not so I am going to have X Happen. like that we have small print statement so the script is attached to over here if we hit play it's tapping now you can see it, it can able to see in debug so you can able to find how many times is user is touching the balloon we can able to detect using this void on mouse down Make sure that the script won't be applied for any other script, otherwise it will be detected by other script. So make sure that it will be applied over one script on a balloon. Because balloon is our hero, so I have this over here. So we are going to in in order to apply a force for this balloon at a runtime, we are going to get the rigid body component rigid body dot and then add force add force is nothing but applying a force transform dot up and then we are going to have multiplied by some numbers the power of your upwards value so I have that double two double two we can change it later so this is a rigid body you can have mouse 15 everything which you have been applied in our last video series if you haven't seen the last video please check it up last three videos so let's let's see whether whether the force is applied when the user touch the mouse touch using the mouse hit play no it's not increasing so what we do is just increase little bit tire to make sure that it will be go upwards yeah it's okay so this is the this is the basic system to add a force over a game object we have done for the balloon so if for the every click of your user we are going to detect and make apply over a text so if the user miss the balloon it will fall down to the ground and will it, it will affect and the game will be over or either if you go over that it will be game over so let's let's do that function public text to get the 2d system we should have u8 public text and then text name may be score ui like that you can have any name which you like 
and then apply over here store UI dot text plus public in score equal to zero. Just get that score and apply over here score equal to score plus one. So we are going to see for every tapping we are going to collect the data and uh, store it over in a text hit play and let's see I'm sorry I forgot to drag and drop the text field over the over the script so just drag and drop the script over the public reference reference replace in the script and then just play So now you can see every time user tap the balloon, we can able to see the score is increasing. So this is fine, but every game should have a enemy in that game. So what we are going to do, we have the enemy is in our game is platform bottom and platform top. So we are going to when the user miss the balloon or it will go over the platform like this over the platform. It will eat and get destroyed and then it will be a game over so we are going to do that so just grab that text platform bottom or maybe you can use void on collision enter public void on collision enter 2d and then just copy the statement and then make Let's see detect whether it is in the platform or not. So I'm going to get this collision other collision dot get game object dot name. Let's see the output. Yeah, we can see it tapped in platform bottom. So now we, we are getting the output. So if we tap over the top, it will get ta tapped on, it's tapped platform, platform top. So the thing is, we can able to detect which platform is hitting or the void on collision enter. So we are going to destroy when it's hitting the platform. So I'm just putting platform if collision, just copy this. And apply is equal to platform platform bottom or it can be platform top. So either way, it can be either platform bottom or platform top. We are going to destroy that balloon or we are going to in the game so this is the scenario we are going to create so I am going to have cut this print screen and then apply over it it crashed like this let's see whether it crashing or not hit play yeah it's getting the output crashed or if it can or it can go over the top of a platform it will get crashed so this is the basic system so now we are going to have a particle effect so that when the balloon hit the ground it we are going to show one plat one particle effect so I'm generally adding one particle effect We have this. Let's drag and drop over here. So this is the particle effect we are going to make it. So while you while the balloon eating the platform, it will come like boom something like that. So we are going to make the animation for that. So to make the animation, we should have animator. Make sure that you have animator. In that 
and then go to window and then select animation and then create the animation clip animation have it as effect let's have 24 frames basically we can reduce that later so I am going to rescale the size so I am going to have scale keyframe so default we are we are going to have one after that we are going to make it as two so let's see in play play mode yeah so I can increase little bit more maybe let's have three I think this was fine maybe 2.5 so this is it let's play if you like to increase the speed just increase maybe 35 something like that it's depending upon your wish so that's it so it's going to be a one time play because we are going to switch the scene to game of scene after its balloon hit the ground so what I'm going to do is go to the animation and go to the effect and make uh, disable the loop time because loop time means it will keep on running we don't want that because we are going to switch the scene so I just have the one time let's play yeah it will play one time only so we have particle effect and then just have two particles one for top and one for bottom I have one more text so that I can use this like this so if we play let's see how the output will be so this is it while user hitting the top it will show like this on bottom it will show like this so particle effect underscore top bottom and sorry and then top So let's drag and drop over the script. I'm going to create a public game object variable. Part public game object top platform top underscore platform effect. And then public game object bottom underscore platform effect. So let's drag and drop over here. Bottom and then top. That's it. So just disable this. You don't need that. Sorry, it's not. Not must be over here and just deleting. So it must be here. So I make sure that platform bottom and the platform top. So just disable this. So while hitting the bottom, we are going to enable it. Sorry, I just deleted the platform thing. I just confused. Okay, this was fine. And then instead of platform, it should be platform top and then platform bottom. Particular, particular top. Yeah. Okay, this fine. So just disable this both. And then, so we are going to control using the script in the place of trash. So just get this and make it as set active of true. And then bottom platform effect 
dot set active of two. So while user hitting top and bottom, it going to do. Before that, we want to make sure that we need to use particular system. So let's play and see. And hitting the bottom, the both particular effects are coming. We need to have individual collision. So I'm just removing this alone and make it as alone thing. Just copy and paste. Just got this. It just remove the print statement. So the bottom should be bottom. So just remove this, and the top should be top. That's it. We done the everything. Let's play. Yeah, it's fine now. Now we see at the top. It will go alright. It will like come like this, and the bottom it will be like this. So when first time eating, we need to make that game object should be de deleted and need to switch the scene. So let's do that. What I'm going to do is using Unity Engine dot scene management. Scene and management is nothing but switching the scene. So I just have that. So scene management, I'm sorry, scene management, scene manager dot load scene and then the scene name, you should have the scene name over here. Let's see what the scene, it's game of scene. We are going to divert this from this scene to game of scene. Just copy this name over here and save it and then have both the thing. We are going to have same thing for both the things so I will just Make it as common. So let's play and do this. When hitting the bottom or top, it should switch the scene. I'm sorry, before that, we need to apply the scene over, the, over here. The main scene, first scene should be main scene, and then after that, you can have any scene, it's your wish. I'm having game scene option, game scene, and then the game over scene. Let's play. It will. It should work, work now. Yeah. So it came to game game over scene now. So what we are going to do is we are going to give little bit time for this because while while playing while playing the game, eating the platform, it will go switching the scene very fast. After finishing a particular effect, we are going to switch the scene. For that, I am going to make some time. So I emulator. Wait for some time. Yield return you wait for seconds. We can uh, we are going to have one seconds. At that time the particle effect is going to destroy. After that the scene is going to switch. That's the concept. That's it, and then just call over here. Make sure it should be start coroutine, start coroutine or that name, and then cut copy this. And then you can have this maybe we can have this over here, and then we can have this over here. So what generally do is it will go to I enumerator and wait for one second after that it will load the scene. Before that one second the particle effects going to play and then the game is going to over. That's the concept. So let's see. So I'm just playing, tapping, tapping. That's it. So it will going very slow, very slow. That's a, not a problem but the balloon is not destroying. So to destroy the balloon, we are going to we are not going to destroy the balloon because since the balloon which holding the particle effects. So instead of that, or what I'm going to do is 
so this whole the particle effects instead of that what i am going to do is i am just going to disable this game object from the scene disable this sprite and also a collider this bo both things is enough maybe we can uh, we can i think this is enough i think so we are going to disable this so to make this changes or b dot get component i'm sorry this dot get component or b which hold only a rigid body so this dot get component circle collider to 2d dot enable equal to false the same thing for sprite render sprite render is nothing but the image sprite render Come from first. Yeah. Not any molecule to false. Does it work? Fine. No. Hit play. That's it. And then the game will be switched. So everything is perfect now.